The communists liberated the people of Tibet from serfdom. They were given, they were then given land and exempt from taxation. People burned their slave debts and leases from their former monk and landlord owners before the slaves never owned any har any of the harvest they produced. But Freedom House and the, um, and and you know Western liberal media will cover this as uh, I mean, were there were there deaths, of course, for the record, but um. You know, people will cover this in the West in an identical capacity to uh, any other communist revolution like Cuba. If you look at the Cuban revolution, literally, it's it's uh, on similar terms. This is from The Guardian. Until 1959, when China cracked down on Tibetan rebels and the Dalai Lama fled, from, uh, fled to northern India, around 98% of the population was enslaved in serfdom. The Drepung Monastery on the outskirts of Lhasa was one of the world's largest landowners with 185 manors, 25,000 serfs, 300 pastures, and 16,000 herdsmen. High-ranking lamas and secular landowners imposed crippling taxes, forced boys into uh, monastic slavery, and pilfered most of the country's wealth, torturing disobedient serfs by gouging out their eyes or severing their hamstrings. Things were not very great. Uh, in Tibet, as far as I understand. I do love when, uh, like, Western media looks at something like Freedom House and their rankings and looks at, like, how insane those rankings look like, okay? And then go, it's so insane! It's like, yeah, maybe that should tell you something about, like, what the motivation is for for why these things exist to begin with you're extinguishing the idea of Tibet, censoring anything to do with it, and breeding out native Tibetans are all actions of a just liberator. This is why people think you're a China apologist. I don't think China is a just liberator, but I like to think of, I like to look at the present material conditions pre any kind of uh, action that, uh, that America's foreign nations have engaged in. Okay? He was not aware at, this, at the time and was peddling the status quo or just paid the pedal to the State Department narrative. No, these... There is no... Why the fuck would you ever look beyond? Why would you ever look beyond uh, what the fuck... Why would you ever look beyond something like the Freedom House Index? Like, you see that, and then you go, that's fine. Opposing the invasion doesn't mean you should support the previous oppressor. Yeah, this is like... I mean, I, I'm in a permanent state where people are, like, saying I'm overly critical and eat up, like, liberal propaganda against China, and also the number one... Uh, a China apologist uh, on the planet. Okay? Like, a lot of these things are significantly more complicated. There's always a, a, a better solution than what actually happened. Okay? Than the actions that a fucking, you know, state took. Uh, a state that utilized superior military power. Anyway. Um, regardless the the uh, idea that like the prior situation in tibet was was uh better is is silly it's like looking at uh the cuban revolution and then thinking about like the death toll during the cuban revolution and then not factoring in the prior government formation like what what cuba looked like under the dictatorship of batista which was infinitely more cruel than any number of things that uh, the, the Cuban revolution could have done or who those deaths were. Exactly.